So, this is Mike. We're now on the top of Tsushima, the very top before Korea. And behind me, there's an island. And straight that way, 60 kilometers is the Korean peninsula. So, uh, Pusan's basically straight that way, 60 kilometers. So, we're pretty close, only about a 10 hour kayak away from it. But we're waiting on the government to allow us in because they're not allowing us in right now. Um, apparently, we're considered a ship and not a kayak, and a ship requires a massive amount of registration, a kayak does not. So we're negotiating right now our entry into Korea, while well, I'm doing it, and some other people are helping. Uh, so that's the update currently. We're on the location. We're the closest we've been to Korea. We're just waiting to get in, and then we'll head off as soon as the weather's good. Uh, so let's see, what happened last night? So last night, it's funny, a few people came. I was actually, uh, I had no shirt on, and I was washing off, and this guy came, approached me in a suit. Do you speak Japanese? And I was like, no, I don't, but Koji does. <laughs> um, but he was from the Coast Guard, the Japanese Coast Guard. Wanted to talk about our trip and what our plans were and just give us some advice, some pretty helpful stuff. Um, but also, the, uh, the government, officials from the city government came of Tsushima and asked for IDs and just curious about our trip as well. I guess confirm our identity. But um, we also had some really great dinner. Koji's friends took us out to dinner, had some nice sashimi, really excellent stuff. Uh, so that's the update now. We're just waiting for the uh, negotiations to take place so we can get in by a kayak instead of paying $7,000 for a support boat, which not possible. <laughs> anyway, um, so well, how do I feel? So the feeling is really interesting in the sense that um, when you're on the expedition, you don't really feel like this is some amazing activity that you're taking part in. You just feel the, the monotony of day-to-day -day life in the sense that now, like, where do I sleep? Where do I eat? What's the weather? Where are we going to leave from? You know, what ports are we entering? Things like that. That's what we're always thinking about. That it, you know, when can I call Korean customs? When can I call Korean immigration? But I know after this is going to be like one of the best trips of my entire life. It's really uh, the goal of raising awareness about beach pollution and that we can change something is, is really happening. And everybody we talk to and every every radio interview we do, we just finished one actually. Um, every show we take part in, it's it's spreading the mission, spreading the goal of this expedition, which is amazing. Um, and also, it's funny. I was thinking. Um, back when I was young, you know, I've always wanted to do some type of adventure activity, some great adventure. And man, if I saw a guy pull up on a kayak, like look like he crossed something pretty far out, where where'd you come from? And a dude's like, I came really far away. And I was like, Oh my god, I want to do that. But I'm actually doing it. I'm the dude who like people are approaching, like, What are you doing? Wow, that's so cool. You know, like it's wow, life is cool, man. <laughs> Let me tell you. Um, so anyway, that's the update. I look forward to updating you tomorrow, and we're gonna. Relax a little bit and I'm, I'll be on the phone all day with the Korean officials. All right, peace.